Hello YouTube, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Gotta Change. Kai Sinat is being charged with an exciting ride. Let's watch. It's got an update from the NYPD, and here's what we know tonight. According to police, Kai Sinat will be charged with multiple counts, including at least two counts of inciting a riot and unlawful assembly. At least three officers were injured and 65 people have been arrested. We have live team coverage tonight. Stephanie Bertini is taking a look at all that damage done to the neighborhood and businesses. But let's start with Teresa Priola live in Union Square with the latest from police. Teresa. Yeah, Natasha, Union Square is back to normal tonight, as you can see behind me, and that is remarkable considering what unfolded here just a few short hours ago. What began as basically a pop-up giveaway by a celebrity YouTuber devolved into a massive riot involving teenagers and kids. It, it became a total mayhem. We were like huddled behind a tree because people started running and there was really no which way for us to go. What started as a peaceful PlayStation giveaway in Union Square by the wildly popular Twitch and YouTube star Kai Sinat devolved into this pandemonium, the likes of which we don't usually see even in New York City. Very big riot. It was just out of control. It was just a whole movie, mad people, a lot of mad chaos. The NYPD got wind of the event around 1230. At that time, only about 300 people were here. For a long time, it was peaceful. But then Sinat's post went viral. Thousands flooded Union Square, and when Sinat showed up, chaos ensued. This event grew exponentially, rapidly, fast. And again, this is the power of social media. According to the NYPD, once Union Square was wall-to-wall -wall kids, there was no stopping the destruction. Subway service was suspended in the area. Streets were shut down. Construction equipment was used as weapons. Bottles were hurled. Some thought they heard gunshots. It turns out it was firecrackers. It was riotous conduct verging on illegal and dangerous behavior. Young people destroyed our vehicles. My car's destroyed. Commissioner Dorchy's cars destroyed. Other police vehicles destroyed. They destroyed food carts. They destroyed uh, stores. When we started clearing the young people out here, young people ran through the streets of this city, taking plates off people who are outside dining, throwing their plates at police officers. Sanat has yet to make a formal statement on any of his social channels. He's still being questioned by the NYPD, who say charges are forthcoming. He's going to be charged with uh, uh, multiple counts. Uh, at least two counts of um, inciting a riot. 65 people were arrested today, 30 of them underage. Sanat boasts over 20 million subscribers on Twitch and millions more on YouTube and other channels. He's a kid from the Bronx who made it big during the pandemic, reaching the kind of fandom rarely experienced by even some of the biggest celebrities and entertainers in the world. And as far as injuries are concerned, three officers were injured, four civilians were taken to local hospitals, one of which was a 17-year-old. Police initially thought he was shot. Turns out it was the fireworks. Natasha, that number is likely much, much higher than what is reported, but a lot of these injuries are things that wouldn't necessarily be told to police or somebody wouldn't show up to the ER with them. That's the latest from Union Square tonight. Back to you in the studio. Okay, so let me start with this. Um, this is not the first time this kind of thing has happened with the YouTuber. Um, popular uh, YouTubers, the Ace family, did something like this. Not quite to this uh, extreme because Kai Sinat is bigger than them as far as more uh, national popularity. Uh, however, the same thing happened where people got involved and it started becoming a mess. Uh, so what I think will end up happening is Kai will have to just pay some kind of fine. I just think that it's very wild, man, that we got so many young kids today who are willing to cause so much destruction. It is crazy. And this is what the officer said. This is the problem we have with social media. One, I think Kai Sinat should have seen the Reddit a little bit and not came and said, you know what, it's getting a little bit too crazy. Let me try not to show up. And I don't know if he was, if he had organized it, I'm not sure if he did, but if it organized, maybe they could have did this because this is normally what happens. When you don't organize events like this, it tends to get this way. Um, so I don't know if he was just trying to do a pop. I think it was just a pop-up, you know, just show up and meet and greet or stuff like that. You got to know, you got to be self-aware that this kind of stuff can happen. He made a mistake. I'm sure he'll learn from it. And that's the kind of stuff that goes on. I just think it's so crazy that these young kids today, are so involved in so many celebrities. I understand. As we remember, this isn't a new thing. The Beatles, Michael Jackson, they had fans that were wild and crazy too. 
Uh, but today we're getting them younger and younger. And these young kids, they don't care about anybody around them. Normally, somebody shows up for a celebrity. They're there for just that celebrity. Some people just show up to cause chaos. And that's what's happening with the young kids today, especially when they, I'm not getting all over Kai, but Kai is not somebody you would see, consider tame. If you've seen his live streams, I've seen highlights of him doing fireworks in his house or a studio or wherever. Um, and just the way he acts on camera, the way he, he still acts like a very young man. Um, I would even say he still acts kind of like a high schooler who got fame, even though he is older than that now. Uh, I get having fun. I get all that. But it's just not surprising that this would be the kind of fans that he has. But young people are so parasocially connected to these YouTubers and these Twitch streamers um, that it becomes a problem. That's why you got to be careful when you cater to a young audience, man, because sometimes I think, and it, I have no problem with it necessarily, that some people really try to be with their fan base, really try to make it seem like they're a family, but I'm not always against, I'm also not against YouTubers who are like, hey, look, I like y'all, y'all are cool, it's great, but we not like that, you know what I mean? I am, we, I like you guys, y'all are my uh, supporters and fans, but please make sure that you don't really know who I am. What you're seeing on this camera is different. I actually have a life. I am a human being. I don't want you guys to get so attached to me that you think that when you see me, you can act any kind of way around me. You could cause problems to the people around you and that I'm just going to support it because we're all having fun. No, that's not what it is. I like YouTubers who caught, say, say there is a boundary. There is a line. Thank you for supporting me. But at the same time, when you get, we saw the same thing happen to Doja Cat, not defending Doja, but Doja at one point did come out and say, look, I understand you guys are my fans. I get it. But am, do I love y'all? Am I going to say I love you? Am I going to say I agree with everything y'all say, calling y'all selves kittens? At the end of the day, y'all don't know me. I don't know you. Y'all have got to relax with this stand, which Eminem made popular, being a stand, just being too involved in my life. I am an artist. This is what you see, but you cannot dedicate and make your whole life revolve around me. That if I was to show up in the city, you feel like you could tear the city apart just to see me. It's not like that. I'm just a human being and y'all can't get too involved in this. But it's really hard to do that because that's what these streamers and YouTubers do now. They love the fame so much. It's like they 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 feed off people going chaotic for them, going crazy for them, and they make all this insane money. I get it. But I don't I'm not blaming Kai for what happened here. I don't think like, oh my god, he should go, he should be in jail, he should rot in jail, or I don't like having the I don't care. Like it isn't like I don't think like, oh, I'm so glad this is happening to Kai. I just glad that nobody, you know, nobody died. And um, I know stuff got destroyed and stuff like that. And that's going to have to get cleaned up. But I'm just glad that it, it wasn't much worse than it was outside the poor officers that got hurt trying to defend and stop the riot of their beautiful city. Right. I just hope something like this never happens again. Um, I hope Kai has learned his lesson um, to not just do pop ups. He's too popular to do that kind of stuff. Um, you can't just do pop-ups. Like if Taylor Swift did a pop-up like that, it'd be insane too. People would be everywhere in the streets. So he learned his lesson. He understands this is only going to boost his popularity. Let's be true about that. Once he gets this all settled, mopped under the, you know, pushed under the rug, this is going to boost his popularity. But this time he, you know, hopefully he's more responsible with it. And he understands the ramifications of showing up in a city just like that. Um, but nonetheless, I wish everybody the best. I mean, I hope everybody, the cops are well now, even though they just got injured and anybody who else got injured, I hope is everything's fine. And for the people who are living in the city, who are scared, getting their plate stoned, being bothered, stuff like that. I'm sorry for you individuals. Um, this is young people today. I'm hoping we can start as a society, start to tame this down and stop letting this kind of action just go along. Um, but it is tough. We kind of pushed the bar too far. I'm saying be free, do whatever you want. So we're kind of having to bring that back. But let me know what you guys think. Do you think Kai was in the wrong? Do you think Kai was in the right? Uh, do, you, do you support him no matter what he does? I don't know. Let me know in the comment section down below. Goodbye.